on my third month, I was I I caught my first case, as they say, and and um, I was arrested. You know, and from there I did four years. Um, you know, in California Youth Authority. Now, Youth Authority is different than like regular juvenile hall. You have to be admitted into the Youth Authority. They, it's it's almost like a mental hospital. It's an in, in, insane asylum, if you will, for like the worst of the worst worst juvenile offenders. What was that feeling? Crazy. Yeah, that place. Um, you're around like, man. You're around like anyone from 12 all the way up to like 18 years old and some people even 25 they'll have juvenile murder and life in there but um yeah my first night there i was like threatened to be stabbed i mean um i've seen people get raped i've seen these are kids doing this to other kids i've seen kids get stabbed in the neck kids get strangled big old brawls, fights. I mean, the fights was every day, but just a lot of crazy things. And I, I feel like YA, California Youth Authority, was worse than prison because you couldn't hide behind like a car, as we say, uh, behind, behind a race. Um, California, it's kind of more racial. Asians go with the Asians, you know, blacks with the blacks, white with the whites. In California Youth Authority, it wasn't really like that. Yes, they went with Asians, but if somebody was to fight you and they were another race, like you have to defend yourself. Otherwise, they're going to take you for everything you got. And then other people all around you is going to take you for what you got. So you really had to fight every single day, you know, and that's why I literally learned to fight. Lost a couple fights, won a couple fights, but you start to learn you know, and you learn how to like, just be a monster, you know, honestly, like, take everything as disrespect. If somebody says something to you, two seconds, you take off on them. I mean, if you don't, then everybody looks at you like you're a punk and a bitch and stuff like that. So what did you get charged with? Uh, I got charged originally with um, robbery and and kidnapping. But they dumbed it down, luckily, to dissuading a witness for the benefit of a gang. So kind of like witness intimidation, if you will. And yeah, they gave me four years for that. Our um, gang was already on like the FBI list. You know, they were already trying to have gang injunctions on us. They were trying to RICO us. I'm not sure if you know what RICO is. Yeah, RICO. I've spoke to enough on Mafia to understand. Right. Can you explain the RICO though? Yeah. For people who don't know. Yeah, yeah. So it's when it's a federal indictment where this they, they go after you because you're so big. You're this conglomerate that's making money and you just have your hand in everything. And they come specifically for you. They have operations, Homeland Security. Security, FBI, CIA, they all work together to come and like basically knock you off and 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 really attack that <clears throat> one gang or one organization like they did the mafia, you know, and they it's all federal stuff. A lot of it is federal stuff, also state stuff, but mostly federal. So yeah. you're twelve years old at this time? Yeah. What's your mom saying when you're at court? Um, you know, they were shocked because they didn't know I was gangbanging. 